Hi, this is Mark Richards with Infolink Consulting. In our last demo, we created a new flat file uh, data object as an input file that we're going to use, but we really had no idea as to what uh, type of data was in here. So in this demo, I'm going to show you how we can profile it to get a more in-depth uh, details about the kind of information that we're looking at. So any physical data objects, the CSV salaries, this is the uh, flat file definition that we created. So to profile it, I'm simply going to right click on here and I'm going to select the profile option. And um, on the wizard here, I'm going to select profile, click next. And um, I'm going to tick the, the default name of profile CSV salaries. Um, that's okay. I just want to put it down here in the demo 101 project. That's fine as well. Note here, um, I have the option to run the profile on finish. That means when I click finish, it'll automatically go and start running this profile. And that's okay too, because that's exactly what I need. So I'm going to click next. Um, and I'm going to look here at the column selections. I want to profile every column that I have, so that's okay. On the filter, I have not set a filter up here. I could set a filter. Say, for example, I have millions and millions of rows of data and I don't want to go through all of them, then I can certainly set a filter on here. I can also do a sampling. In other words, I could just pull in the first X number of rows. Um, I really want to go, and go ahead and do all the rows, so I'm not going to change anything here. Drill down options. We've enabled row drill down, which basically means that I can I can click on any of the patterns that may emerge on the profile and go down to the individual data rows. Um, and I'm able here to determine which row, which uh, columns that I want to be available and to be shown in uh, my drill down. And the one that I really don't want to see here is name, so I'm going to take that out. Uh, which means that when I do drill down, I'm going to see all of these columns, but I'm not going to see that one. So I'm going to click OK and click on Finish. And we're going to run the profile. OK, so my profile has run. And I'm looking at uh, the summary results right here. Um, and there's a few things that I can see just from this summary. Um, if you recall that we set most of these uh, columns to be uh, 100 character other than the date time field um, and Informatica has actually gone through and as a part of its profile it's looked at the type of column or the type of data that we have so we can see here for example at employee ID I'm going to click on this we can see a sample of values on the right hand side but on the summary portion I can see that I've got 674,484 unique values it's 100% unique and there's no null. In other words, this is a really good candidate for a primary key. And I can also see that um, it's, it's a data type of integer. Um, and on the right-hand side here, if I click this drop-down and I, instead of values, I want to look at patterns, I can see that the, the fields here are either six-character numerics or seven-character numerics. So I can go back to my definition and I can change this to be an integer. Similar thing here with the name we can see that the the longest character or the longest field length is 42 so I can certainly strip this down from 100 maybe to 50 or something like that um, title we'll click on title here and take a look at values and we can see that this is really a kind of a job title if I look at patterns um, there's no, really no discernible pattern other than the fact that we have um, six records that are null. So if I click on this, it's kind of an interesting one. Let me click on drill down and I want to see what those six records are. And I look down here and if you recall, um, I decided to exclude the name from this, which is why I don't see it here. But I do see all of the other columns and there's nothing on here that would tell me why there are blank titles for this. So this may be something that you need to go back to your data owner um, and try to figure out why we have some nulls in here. Um, again, we'll take a look at department, and I have eight nulls on the department. If I click drill down, and I can see these eight here. Interestingly, the title for all eight of these is suspended, so maybe this is a genuine business rule that I need to be aware of and I need to take into consideration. All right, so let's take a look at gender. We look at the individual values. Okay, now this is all over the place. We have the vast majority are, are uppercase F and M. But then we have some U's, some zeros, some lowercase m and f's, some n's, and some nulls. So 
straight away I can see the gender is a column that I that I need to take some action on um, and I need to do some uh, some some digging in here maybe some data cleansing all right and the last one that I'm going to look at is entity type and if I can sort this by value um, interestingly I have two versions of university one with an uppercase U and one with a lowercase U on first glance these two records look the same but if I look really carefully I can see that for this 6352 records that the word hospital is misspelled so again, there's some data cleansing efforts uh, that, that need to happen here. Um, and in the next demo, I'm going to show you guys how to implement a rule that we can attach into a profile to get an even more in-depth view of the data that we're producing.